Well, today's event is extremely important and it's a very proud moment for my family because this was the area my father was born in. This is the area he grew up in. Uh, this is the area from which he drew his most important formative experiences. Uh, and it's the area that he most tried to help uh, when he was practicing as a lawyer. Um, so many years ago when Pat Finucane was going to school and ultimately to college to become a lawyer, not many people were achieving that. Free education had just come in. So a lawyer qualifying from this area was a new thing and people suddenly had one of their own who was able to help them in a way that perhaps nobody had been able to help before. Uh, Pat was a friendly face, people would have known him, people would have known his family and they would have gone to him with their problems, big and small, complex and simple and he would have tried to help them. Uh, so unveiling the mural in West Belfast today is a particularly proud moment because in a sense Pat's coming home. And indeed it was in giving that help to his community that the assassination of your father took place. This the Silver Report, what are you hoping for or what are you expecting from it? Well, we know very little about the content of the report. Uh, not much in the way of detail has been revealed. Um, we know that it's going to comprise two parts. Uh, one part is going to be a report, a uh, review of the papers in the case and the other investigations that have been carried out already. And the second part uh, apparently is going to contain some declassified security material uh, that has not been made public before. However, we also know uh, that the report is not going to contain any recommendations. Uh, that has, apparently is going to be passed over to the Prime Minister and the government. So an awful lot rests on the shoulders of David Cameron when he stands up to make a speech in the House of Commons on Wednesday. Um, the idea that De Silva, uh, a review of the papers, uh, could be the end of the Pat Finucane case is quite simply not sustainable. And therefore the Prime Minister has, some, uh, has something to deliver on Wednesday and we look forward to seeing what that is. Well first can I say I was delighted by the number of people that came here today despite the weather. Um, I'm delighted with the mural. It's a great tribute that Pat has this in his own area where he grew up. As for next week, we'll go over and we'll see what Sir Desmond has put into this report. Um, I still don't think the process is a fitting process. There should have been a public inquiry so that everyone could regain confidence. Um, something that goes on behind closed doors. We don't know who he saw, who he spoke to. I do know that he has not put sensitive material into the report, so any conclusions that he might draw, we don't know how he came to that uh, conclusion and I don't think that's the proper way for this case to be dealt with. The campaign will go on, absolutely the campaign will go on. Um, it is about more than the murder of one man and it's very important that public confidence is restored and that the fact that they are not giving us an inquiry in this case could be used by people who are unwilling to move forward. Um, I don't want that to happen. Well, we essentially, I think, know what happened. You know, many of the people gathered here were victims or, or family members of uh, victims. I saw Theresa Slane there and I'm sure there were other people I didn't spot. So, so we know what happened. It's a matter for the British government, uh, only up to that. And as the family have said, that if they're not satisfied, that they want a full public inquiry. And I think that's a very, very reasonable thing for them to ask. I, I sat down last night and Richard had put together uh, a note, because we've written about this many times. And uh, when I, I read it last night before going to bed, I thought it was too long and there was too much detail. And then I got up early this morning and read it again. And I felt, no, we needed to remind ourselves of the detail of the chronology of how, how this was part of administrative practice, how uh, the architect of it, uh, Kitson, has written, uh, how, how he used these methods in Kenya, how they were transferred here, how they established the UDA, how they renewed the UVF, how they targeted those who were 
uh, deemed to be a threat to their interests and put together uh, a coordinated strategy of, of repression and used the counter gangs within the union's paramilitaries to kill unwanted members. As, as Kitson said infamously, that the law should be an instrument for getting rid of unwanted members of the public. So that's what happened. And uh, to Sylvia, uh, totally contrary to the family's wishes and in breach of an agreement between the British and Irish government, was established to examine all of the evidence. The Irish government could and should have done more, need to do more in the time ahead, and need to be raising this issue internationally and using its consular and diplomatic services to win support for the family's very, very reasonable case.